Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Hermitcraft Mode Source 2. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Uh, so we did a little bit of a stream earlier, and we started working out uh, where we're going to be putting the dinosaurs. Uh, and so if you can see this ring <laughs> around, uh, just to give you an idea. Yeah, it goes all the way around uh, the, the track. And then there's going to be another ring. Well, this this ring is going to be, you see this little piece here? Uh, this is how wide it's going to be. And then this part here will continue around that way. Like, And so this will all be filled in. And then there's going to be trees and stuff and things and whatnot going on around in there. And then um, that's where the dinosaurs and stuff will be. Uh, and then I'm thinking there's probably gonna be like a, a minecart track or something that goes around just so you can ride a minecart track or, you know, something like that. Uh, it just adds a little bit of scenery out and about, uh, which is what I'm going for. Um, and there is a thunderstorm apparently moving in. Uh, it's supposed to be here uh, very, very soon. I can already hear thunder in the distance. Um, so <laughs> hopefully, hopefully things go at my way today. And the power doesn't go out or anything like that. Um, we're going to need some of that. All right. So what we're going to do, um, that power down there is nice and everything. But I think we need a bit more power, especially, you know, because we're going we're gonna to have to get into, like, better, like, machines and stuff at some point. Um, what we have going on now, just, like, it's not cutting it. I mean, we've got, like, we've got lava power going there. We've got that stuff going down there. We just, we need a better power source. And so what I think I'm going to work on is some culinary generators and some beef. Um, I'm pretty sure beef is like one of the best things you can do with it or that you can use in a culinary generator. Um, and I have this soul shard here, this tier five cow shard that I have yet to do anything with. <laughs> uh, I went ahead and made it and then just like didn't bother with anything else um and hopefully we get to the end pretty soon i don't know if anybody's really concerned with doing a dragon fight or anything i mean it's modded we're all gonna be pretty well op to even like for the dragon to even bother us so I, i'm not sure if anybody's worried about that i may talk to him and see you know if they're not worried about it i may just go wreck the dragon or something and then just be done with it and then we can have access to the end and then I can go do the pseudo-inversion sigil ritual thing. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the spawner probably about there. So let's take that one out and that one out. And we're going to need light just so nothing spawns over here. All right, so if we put the spawner there, let's grab the spawner cage just so we know what we're looking at here. There we go. And you go right there. And then we're going to have uh, one of these guys up here. So we're going to have to go like that, like that. And then we'll take that one out. And on that, we'll actually go one of these wireless receivers. Like so. And then that will point into the, the thing, turning it on. And then we can wrap it uh, in these. I'm so glad these wireless things are... Oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, part of a, the, the Forge multi-part thing and then you can stick them inside boxes um should we i think we should just bring it up like this just so nothing spawns on top of that hopefully that will stop it and then that doesn't need to be there all right and then in the middle here i think let's see possibly there 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 and there. We're going to have four grinders. <laughs> yeah. Four. Uh, is that facing the right way? No, it's not. All right, so we need to face it from this. No. We need to face it against the block in the center. Um, and the reason we're going to do uh, the five or the four grinders is because... Uh, it's a tier 5 shard. Wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> Why won't you place right? Get right, guy. 
Well then, place there. You son of a... Where's my... Where are you, Crescent-type hammer guy? Thank you. Thank you. Alright, yeah. And so that's how that's going to do. We're going to have that there. And then we're going to need pipes coming out the back. And if you're wondering how we're going to power these guys, we're actually going to use these RF exciters. Yeah. And so we're going to go bloop. And then like so. And that will take care of that. Um, and then we even have these, these upgrades that increases the power. So there's one for that one, one for that one, one for that one, one for that one. And uh, 200 RF per tick for each of these guys, which I think should be enough. And then if we grab these guys and go like so. Very good. Very good. Can I? Oh, uh, you can. <laughs> all right. So now we need a place to put all the things. So let's see. How are we going to do? We need to bring them all. I think, I think what we could do is bring them all to the center and then bring it down some. And then from there. So let's see. We can go. We'll go there. Just because we have to bring these out and around. So we'll go like that. And under that, we will put these guys. Oh, I hate how these guys place. Let's put... Oh, the wind. Oh my god, the wind. <laughs> oh my god, the wind. The wind is going nuts. It is going nuts. There we go. Alright, very good. And then we'll grab these guys, and we'll bring them down. Hopefully that doesn't mess, it shouldn't mess with anything. None of this stuff will be able to go into those, so... Bring it down, over, down, and then like so. So... I'm kind of thinking I might want an actual inventory behind those. Yes, I do. I want an actual chest behind these. Crap. Um, chest. Ah, oh, we don't have any chests. Chest. Yeah, whatever. Those are fine. Those are the Gainey's surface friggin' chests. Right, go there, 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 and there. And then we'll just come at the bottom of those. Yeah, I think that I think that's just a better because I have like upgrades and stuff I can put on it. And then this will just keep it so that if anything does happen, uh, there's a bit of a buffer. All right. And, alright, so in each one of these, we're going to put one of those, and or four of those and one of those. I think that should be enough. If it's not, we can always add more. Um, but I'm pretty sure that will be plenty. And then it'll run down. Ooh, I don't like the way that's going to run in. I can, I can set, whoa, what? <laughs> what happened there? What was that? The bag just popped into my hand, like, for no reason. All right, like that. Aha! Nice. All right, so we should be able to put this sh this shard in there without anything spawning. Right? Like, it, yeah. Okay, the, the eyes, I believe, turn red when it's running. All right. Very good. And then, uh, let's grab some of this stuff. I wish I could place these on there, but I can't. All right, so we're going to go like that. We're going to push everything into the center 5x5 five five there. Uh, I think that's just the best way to do it. And then we can go like that. Very good. And then this one will go that way. This one... I like doing these alternating things. I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to be... No, that one, that one, that one... And that one need to come out. No, actually, all of these can come out. What am I doing? 
Yeah, center five by five. I was I was doing a three by three. <laughs> no, this is five by five. All right, so we can do that, I think. And then so this one should get all the ones over here. That one gets all the ones over there. That one gets all the ones. So on and so forth. Uh, everything should work. Uh, sure, there's probably better ways to do it, but <laughs> again, I tend to do things how I feel like doing them. Uh, may not necessarily be the best way, most efficient way. Uh, it's how I do it. All right, so that should take care of that. And then if we add some of this. And then I'm going to separate, because I want it all to start here and then work its way down. So I'm going to do that. All right. Uh, so let me uh, tell you what. I'm going to get this thing activated. Uh, I've got this wireless transmitter here, which I think I'll stick over here somewhere. Maybe right there. And then we can put a lever lever guy there. Uh, let me get this guy hooked up. Uh, let me run some cows through, get some meat and stuff going on, and then we will work on the actual power part of the whole thing. Alrighty. Uh, so the, the generators we're going to be using, you've probably guessed, <laughs> is going to be the culinary generators. Uh, but we're going to go straight to the eight times, guys. Uh, you need uh, the regular culinary generators, which is like the survival generator. Pretty simple to make. Uh, and then you need this transfer node guy here, which is some trans or the, yeah, the energy transfer node, uh, which is some gold, some transfer nodes, a depth first, uh, which is all this stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, lots of redstone. Uh, and you need to make that in that. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. But we should be able to go bloop and bloop. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, I'm wondering if I slap one of these down. And I look inside it. Oh, um, give to me piece of meat. And I go like this. All right. So generates RF at 32 RF per tick. So 256 RF per tick. Now, do we have any raw beef in here? Beef. We don't. Now, let's go grab a piece of uh, poop. <laughs> A uh, piece of raw beef. Uh, you can see we have 5,664. Oh, I didn't mean to grab a whole stack. Um, and then if we look in here, 64.92 at 12 RF a tick. And what was this one? Uh, that's 64.92 and 46.111. So it's over double the power if we cook it. <laughs> huh. I don't know that I really want to cook it. I mean, yeah, I really don't want to cook it. Ooh, it looks like it might be, is it running behind a little bit? Are you running behind guy? I think it'll catch it. I think it'll catch it. Um, I think we're just gonna, well, let's see. All right, so one of these, ooh, wow, that's 96, that is, compared to 250 so we're gonna have to cook it like we have to cook it there's there's no other <laughs> like there's no doubt about it we really need to cook it um so we're gonna have to hook up some kind of furnace to that and something else i need uh sound muffler hopefully i have enough wool thank you that is something we definitely need. <laughs> we need it. And we'll slap it right there. Oh, so much better. Okay, so to cook these... Hmm. It's not really something that I, I, I had considered. We could do a furn... Like a, an, an upgraded furnace. Uh, we could do liquid fuel. We can pump for, like, because these guys are always full. Hmm. Or we could do the power upgrade, which we, we still have that, I believe. Uh, bad. Maybe not. Um, can we, RF? Uh, better furnaces. <laughs> uh, what is it called? 
better furnaces, electric heat source. And I searched for better and it's not in there. So we might not actually have it anymore. Pretty sure it's not in there. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in there. Pretty sure it's not in here. Wait. Yeah, it's definitely not in there. So that's something we could do, and then we can run it off of that. I just don't know that it's going to cook it fast enough to keep up. I guess we could always find out. Better furnace. Gold furnace. Diamond furnace. <laughs> Can we do a hell furnace? I mean, we could. We would need diamond blocks. One, two. <gasps> oh, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. We're actually going to. Oh, we're going to do the, the redstone furnace. Uh, because if we look at the augments. Augments, this one here. Increases food output. And only cook food. Yes, 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 yes. That is for the redstone furnace, right? Uh, re yes, redstone furnace. All right. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make probably a, a hardened one, and then I want to put in some of the speed. Uh, two times energy produced, uh, secondary chance. Is it this one? No. Where's, there it is. Overclockers. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to put in two levels of that and then one of those. So I'm going to need a resonant machine. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So I think I have everything I need uh, to set this up. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, that's the. <laughs> it's the jelly or the yeah the jelly pyrothium dripping. I just saw something fall. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of that guy there. And so if we grab one of these and we go boom. All right, so now do we put this guy? Do we put it below it? Or I'm kind of thinking we just slap it right there. And then I put the augments in over there. And you see it's starting to fill up. All right, so we've got the augments in here. We've got the the trivection chamber, <laughs> a secondary reception coil, and modular gearbox. It is going to use 160 RF per tick. Um, and I did lose one of the culinary generators. I don't know where. I looked everywhere, and I cannot find it. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I like. I, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I just I don't know. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're gonna need one of those guys there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll make some more. I, I mean, they're not that expensive, so I'm not really that worried about it. All right, so that guy will cook and stick stuff in those, and then I think to get power for that guy, we're just gonna grab one of these and stick it there. Like, it doesn't need a whole lot of power, although that 160 RF per tick, that's, that's worrisome. All right, so how, wow, that's, it gives double, double meat every single time. Oh, yeah, that's way too fast. Um, so what if we take one out that drops the power by half? Still seems way too fast, doesn't it? 39, 50. Yeah, that seems kind of... Could we do that? Because that way, it's it's only using 20 RF per tick. Maybe if, like, once we get more, then we'll have to worry about maybe adding these guys. Um, but I think as far as these two, like, everything's good. Like, every, I think everything's good. And then, uh, to get the power, because that's going to be supplemental power for that down there. Uh, for when we start adding, like, I want to start adding machines, like getting machines and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to need... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> Dang it. <sighs> See, I try to do things. <laughs> things just don't want to cooperate. I was trying to fill Tesseracts, but no, I had to leave other crap in there. Anyway, we can get the rest of the stuff ready. Uh, so we're going to need 
some of those one two and then some of those one two all right and there's one so we're gonna we're gonna send power from those down to the oh we, that's another thing we should really do is increase power storage that would be good so that's the guy i think these should look different when they're not like actual tesseracts yet all right so that's that and then we need to lock them there's that one and that one very nice okay and so we're gonna we're gonna stick some power cables down here we're gonna use the redstone power cables very good very good and tesseract and poop <laughs> all right and then owner only uh, we will call this main uh we will go to boom boom and no no energy sends very good and then we will go down here and i think i want to try and make yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Add some more of these. And then I, I kind of want to stick this guy on the side. Like right there. All right. And then uh, owner main set energy mode receive. And let's make sure this guy is receiving energy, which is not input. Very nice. All right, so now we've got a little bit of power from that with a little bit of power from that making a decent amount of power. Um, and once I I replace at least the one that I lost, then, yeah, I think we'll be doing better. <laughs> uh, uh, but I think what I want to concentrate on is making some more of those capacitor banks. Cap Capact? <laughs> cap act okay um i wonder do the vibrant ones are they any better like hmm because what i'm using now is just capacitor banks so that's 25 million and that's 5 million wow but i think i think just more of these would would do the trick so we'll need some double layers which i mean that's that's yeah Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so with all this stuff going, I, I went ahead and made another four uh, of these eight times compressed things. <laughs> uh, and you can see this one redstone fur. Oh. How is that not keeping up? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to know. How is that not keeping up? Um, you know what I might do? Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm just going to move this over and up. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't keeping it. Do I even need this one here? I don't think I even need that one. Yeah. All right. So that's, I mean, that will, God, that seems, that seems a bit overkill. Um, whatever uh, so it's i mean it is keeping up this one furnace without any upgrades like i brought this i brought this upgrade just thinking you know i'm probably gonna need it um but i don't like it's absolutely keeping up like you can see they're all full uh so that whole two times you know you get this and it's still 20 rf so that's good i mean we could we could really ramp it up if we wanted to but there's no need to <laughs> uh, and this more than like Let's see, I, I can't remember how much we were getting from that one, uh, but I think currently we're getting, I mean, it's not great. It's like 2000 RF per tick or something. I mean, it's not, it's not the spectacular, but it's, a, it's much better than we had before. And then that will allow us to get some more, you know, to get more machines. I, I, I really don't want to move into big reactors like right away, if at all. 
I may, I may try to just completely avoid it uh, this time around uh, and just see how it goes. You never know. Like, I always do big reactors. It just, it's one of those things. And this guy shouldn't fill up anytime soon. <laughs> uh, it's got two of these upgrades on it, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill all of these with upgrade. Actually, no, I'm not, because it's got a trash can. So if these do get full, I don't have to worry about it. It just goes there. Um, if you're wondering what I'm going to oh, God. If you're wondering what I'm going to do with the mob essence, uh, nothing right now. I mean, I should be store. Oh God, I should be storing it. <laughs> I think what I could do is I could pull it out the top here and then just have like an ender tank in the center and then have just like a massive tank, something like maybe in the ground there and then just like fill it. Well, actually, no, that wouldn't work because that chunk's not loaded. Hmm. We'd have to pump it some, maybe up. Maybe we'll make some bedrockium drums and just fill some drums. I think that could, that could work as well. And we'll figure it out. All right. Um, I, I think that's going to do it for today. Um, oh, I wanted to mention uh, this thing here. I, I did see a couple people say that they were having issues with the soul spawner or with the, with the soul cages. Uh, they weren't working. Um, it turns out like you have to have a, like a lever on it. I tried the wireless stuff. I tried uh, the Ender IO. Uh, this stuff here, uh, the redstone conduit. I set the redstone conduit to you know output a strong redstone signal. I tried you know like putting a block above where the lever is now and then running redstone down, and like and nothing, nothing would do anything except a lever directly like slapped onto the side of it um i don't know that i completely agree with that i would really like to use the wireless redstone so i don't know why it's like that so i don't know what to do i mean you just gotta have a gotta have a freaking lever on it so anyway yeah that's gonna do it for today i hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you all next time